Welcome to Asian English News Bulletin. This is Sayyid Mahir Zaman Mukher with our top stories of the day. A VVIP chartered flight of Biman Bangladesh Airlines carrying the Prime Minister and her entourage members departed the Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport, Dhaka, at 10.35 a.m. On September 19th, she will attend the state funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Abbey. In the evening, the Prime Minister is scheduled to depart London for New York. On September 20, Sheikh Hasina is scheduled to attend a reception meeting hosted by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and join the inaugural ceremony of 77th session of UNGA. The secondary school certificate and equivalent exams kicked off to a smooth start on today. The exams began at 11 a.m. instead of 10 a.m., considering the usual traffic jams in the peak morning hours. This year, 20,21,868 candidates from 29,591 institutions under nine general boards, madrasa and technical education boards will appear in SSC and equivalence examinations at a total 3,790 centres across the country. According to a schedule, the SSC and its equivalent examinations will end on October 18. Of Milik, General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Ubadul Qadir has claimed that both Khalid Azia and Tariq Rahman are unfit for the election. Ubadul Qadir said this in reference to BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhri Samalungir's speech at a briefing at his residence. Ubadul Qadir said that BNP Chairperson Begum Khalid Azia has been sentenced for corruption and Tariq Rahman is an absconding accused. Both of them are ineligible under the law. BNP is a recognized terrorist group at home and abroad. Canadian court has also identified BNP as a terrorist group, he added. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhri Samalungir said that if the election held under the caretaker government, BNP will win with huge votes. He said this while interacting with reporters at his residence in Takugo in the morning. Mirza Fakhri said that the government has turned the country into a hybrid state. He also alleged that there is no accountability, no justice in the country. Judiciary is partisan. The police department is being used by the government as a force to stay in power, he added. The government is not conducting elections under the caretaker government, knowing that Awami League will be defeated in a fair vote. BNP will not participate in the election if the demands are not met, he also added. Leaders and activists of BNP and Awami League locked into a clash in Dhaka's Mirpur area this afternoon, leaving several people injured. Witnesses said the clash started in different areas of Mirpur, including Section 2 and 6, after BNP men gathered there to stage protests around 1.30 p.m. Leaders and activists of local Awami League, Chhatra League and Juba League welding sticks chased the BNP men who retaliated with throwing brick chips, triggering the clash. The government has imposed a 22-day ban starting October 7 on catching, selling and transporting Hilsha to ensure the safe spawning of this popular fish during its peak breeding period. A notification was issued by the Fisheries and Livestock Ministry in this regard on Thursday. The objective of the restriction is to save Mother Hilsha, which lays eggs during the period. There will be a ban on catching of all kinds of fish in the rivers countrywide during the time. The notification added. Thousands queued overnight into Thursday to pay their last respects to Queen Elizabeth II, with many choking back tears after seeing her coffin lying in state in London. Britain's longest serving monarch, who died on 8 September, aged 96, after 70 years on the throne, is at rest in the capital's Westminster Hall ahead of Monday's state funeral at Westminster Abbey. After waiting in all weathers, for more than 48 hours, the first public mourners were allowed into the vast medieval hall on Wednesday after the coffin left Buckingham Palace for the last time in a ceremonial procession witnessed by tens of thousands. This is it for now. Please stay tuned with Asian English News and visit www.asiantv.bd.com. Take care.